A Kona favorite announces he will not make the start, and we get two athletes' thoughts on the new 70.3 World Championship course. Tri-Center starts now. Welcome to Tri-Center, the world's number one triathlon news show. I'm Ann Wessling. How would you like to attend a training camp with a top professional triathlete right in your own backyard? Well, San Diego area triathletes got that opportunity thanks to Leslie Patterson's Braveheart Boot Camp. The week-long camp included two two-hour sessions each day, complete with a tough workout and a healthy meal from the chefs of Fit Foods. Workouts ranged from open water swims to circuit strength training, and if all that wasn't enough, the participants were also given goodie bags filled with triathlon goodies. Now, we can't feed you or provide you with gifts, but we did take the time to post one of the workouts online. To try Leslie's Braveheart Brick workout, visit triathlete.com slash braveheartbrick. We're a few days away from the fifth of seven races in the Lifetime Fitness Race to the Toyota Cup series, so we thought we'd take a look at the standings as of today. American Andy Potts sits in the lead for the men. He's followed by Cameron Dye and Matt Reed. Last year's series winner, Philip Ospelay, sits in fourth, with lifetime veteran Greg Bennett rounding out the top five. The women's race is much closer than the men's. American Alicia Kay owns the top spot right now, but Olympic hopeful Sarah Haskins sits in second, with new pro Nicole Kelleher taking the third position. Rebecca Wasner and new mom Becky Lavelle sit in fourth and fifth, respectively. The next event on the schedule is the Lifetime Chicago Triathlon set for this Sunday, August 28th. Now the biggest race of the year, the Ironman World Championship, is less than eight weeks away and one of the top contenders has already bowed out. Germany's Michael Raylert has been suffering from a hip injury all season and he's run out of time to try to make his Kona debut. The two-time Ironman 70.3 world champion not only lacks the fitness necessary to toe the line, he's also missing those all-important Kona Pro ranking points. But despite the major setback, Raylert still hopes to defend his Ironman 70.3 world championship title. And speaking of 70.3 world champs, the September issue of Triathlete features a preview of this race, which is set to take place on September 11th at Lake Las Vegas. We caught up with two cover models, Magalie Tisser and Luke Bell, to find out more about their thoughts on the new course. It's going to take a lot of toughness to win 70.3 Vegas because it's not just a race where speed training will get you to the finish line first. It's going to be a race where you, that requires a lot of strength, endurance, and the elements are going to be really tough. The heat. I've been myself training there last week and I've had some really tough moments out there just training. Um, and I mean, I think it's gonna be a, a battle of attrition to the end for everybody. So, I mean, the toughest one will win and I think there's a lot of strong athletes out there. To win 70.3 Vegas, it's completely different to previous years. The course is going to be extremely hot, dry heat out there in Vegas, and it is gonna be a, a quite a challenging course. There's not too many flat sections out there, so, you know, it's going to be that strength endurance aspect of the course and I think the bike is going to be quite hard and it's, it's going to be a matter of to see, you know, it'll come down to the run and who's got the leg speed on the run, but the run at the same time, you can't do pure speed. It's going to be that strength aspect as well. I went to train on the Vegas course last week. Um, I was very um, shocked by the heat conditions. I think it's going to be a little bit cooler when we go back there, but still definitely in the hotter end. Dry heat, um, then for the bike ride, it's gonna be a, a hilly bike ride with some crosswinds. The winds were pretty strong when I went there. Um, the, the run is definitely the most challenging part, I think. Um, it's gonna be a long uphill and then a long downhill back twice. Uh, so it's definitely gonna take a lot of strength. I've seen the course profile of the, the Vegas course and I must admit I am quietly excited about the course. I think it, it definitely suits my strengths. Um, you know, it's, it's a challenging course, it's a hot course, and you know, at the end of the day, the strongest and the most mentally tough athlete will, will win. Another triathlon magazine is hot off the press. The September-October issue of Inside Triathlon features the queen of Kona herself, Chrissy Wellington. 
Visit triathlete.com for behind the scenes photos and video of the cover shoot, and you can pick up the issue on newsstands now. That's our show for today. Thanks so much for joining us. Whoa, there's a surprise! Everybody sh shuffling. Do you know that I thought for a while that it was everybody hustling? And I, and I was like singing it the entire time on Ragbri every time the song would come on our stereo. Everybody hus hustling. Like, is that a song?